Hey, it's Presto Lovers. Mark here from Whole Lots. They love well caffeinated, of course. Drinking an Americano that uh, I did some dialing in with this grinder. Made myself a nice little Americano, which I like a lot. Uh, today we're taking a look at the BB005 from Bedzera. Um, I call it the Bubba 5 because it's just easier. Uh, this is going to be a nice, a really nice, uh, low cost entry into machine grade grinding. Um, you're really not going to find a grinder that's all metal on the outside like this at this price. So let's take a little tour top to bottom with this grinder. This is going to be an espresso focus sort of grinder. Up top we have a 250 gram hopper. It's got UV protection so you put your beans in there. Over on here and the key feature with this grinder is the accuracy of grind size. So over here this is how you adjust the grind size. I'm going to turn this just a little bit so we can see it. A little plus and minus here. This uses a worm gear internally, I will show you that. So incredibly precise. You can see as I turn this a little bit, I don't want to go too much, that you'll see the whole hopper is moving just a little bit because I did have this dialed in. Um, but again, espresso focus, because if you wanted to go from, say, a very fine grind for espresso up to something more appropriate for drip, you're going to have to do an awful lot of turning. So really want to use this one for espresso, and you'll see how that's set up. Um, down over here, so it has a power switch up front here for main power. Then over here, this is for timing. So you've got one, two, and three dots in here basically representing uh, settings for a single, double, and triple shot. Now it's somewhat arbitrary um, as to the exact time. There's no like numbers on there, right? But at the one position, you're going to get about five seconds of grinding. At the two for a double shot, you're going to get 10 seconds. And at the three, you're going to get 15 seconds. But the whole range here, you can go much longer than that if you want, or much shorter. It's about one and a half seconds up to 28 seconds. Um, what I found in my test, and I had the an Akaya scale out here earlier and did a number of tests with this, and at the two position after I was dialed in to produce a uh, nice one to two ratio shot from 17 grams of coffee that I ground with this, um, at the two position, I was grinding at about 1.7 grams per second. So in 10 seconds, I got 17 grams, basically. Um, it does have a little tray here for catching any ground grind spill. Um, you know, again, this is an entry level into machine grade grinding. As you go up in price, you're going to get more accurate dosing. You might get actual times, like you can time in the tenth of a second, but you're going to spend probably twice as much to get into those features. So it's a good uh, pairing with, say, uh, single premium uh, single boiler uh, machines, like a Gaja Classic, a Sylvia. Uh, a couple of Bedzera machines like the Unica, even right up to something like a Rocket Apartamento. Um, so let's take a look at how this does its thing. So I'm, again, I'm just set at that two dots, going to be about 10 seconds. Oh, and I'm going to use this here. This is an ASO, this is the short dosing funnel that they have. This is going to help get you all your grinds in there. And look at this, I love this feature with this. It's got the little magnets on here, if you can see that, that holds it on. So once you grind and you want to, you know, shake and distribute to get things down in there, you can do that. So it's just a push to start. And then you don't have to hold it there. You don't get hands-free grinding here. Um, but it does a nice clump free, free grind. I'll show it to you in a second here at espresso grind sizes. I'm just going to shake and tap that to distribute it. But look at that. This was all dialed in. No clumps at all. And something like a, a Rocky grinder, which runs about the same price, the Ranchilio Rocky, it's kind of clumpy at espresso sizes. This does a nice, fluffy grind. Um, so the, and this dosing funnel just helps you to get all those grinds in there. You can see the dispersion spout here is kind of wide. Let me show you what it's like without that. Um, you know, it's just a fact of life when you're grinding coffee. Sometimes you're going to have some grind spill. So we'll grind again here. Again, I don't have to hold it in there. You can see the grind's coming out maybe a little bit better now. now you know, it's not really spilling much, but something like this dosing ring um, is just going to help you keep it more in there. You see, I got a little spill there, but not bad. I'm using an 18-gram basket here, and you can see, now, it depends where you go. I also have a scale here, so I could be weighing my results here. Um, a lot of people, you know, if you're just into the entry level, you're not into doing brew ratios and all that, just use the appropriate size basket fill it and level it and you're going to get a pretty close to the same dose every time and I do like uh, the quality of the grinds here again not any clumps at all at espresso sizes and this was all dialed in um, so you don't have to use this it's helpful then you won't get this kind of a thing happening um, these grinders have been very popular if you take a look at the reviews at Whole Latte Love um, you'll see that people are really in enjoying this again a really nice value and an entry level 
uh, machine grade grinder. Um, the key part is that that uh, worm gear adjustments for super precise and that, that very precise control of grind size is incredibly important when doing espresso. So it's just turning this. And I'm going to take it inside now so you can see how that worm gear operates. So you're making very, very tiny changes so you get really, really fine control of grind size. Much better than say with like a Ranchilio Rocky. I hate to keep beating that one up. Um, but there, you know, it's a stepped grind size. So you don't have those in-between points. And a grinder like that, often you're going to vary your dose weight in order to, you know, change your extraction timing, that kind of thing. Here, you're wide open to use the uh, grind size and make super fine adjustments. Um, comparison, you know, you're going to spend a little bit more money for this than you would for, say, like a uh, Breville Smart Grinder Pro, which is a, uh, you know, more of a plasticky appliance grade. Uh, grinder. This is the entry into machine grade. So again, I call this the Bubba 5. It's actually the Bedzera BB005 grinder. A um, couple other things about this. Uh, again, uh, 900 RPM grind speed, uh, 250 gram hopper. Your timing over here is adjustable from one and a half seconds out to about 28. And again, each of these dots when you're at the it represents about five seconds. Um, so what you can do is just kind of, you know, say I'm going to do the double, get your grind size dialed in, and then if you need a little more, a little less, you're just going to adjust that. And if you need to bump it, you just bring it all the way down here. If you want to add, bumping is just adding a little extra coffee. That's, that's the bump that you can get from that if you need to add a little bit. You know, if you're just going to do that, fill the portafilter basket up. Again, I'm using an 18 gram, so if I just fill it and level it without packing the coffee, I'm going to get right very close to that 18 grams every time. Um, if you have any questions about this grinder, use those comments. You know I love to give you guys detailed answers. Um, and, you know, it doesn't have to be just about this grinder. I'll answer any coffee or espresso related question there. So, thanks for watching. I'm Mark. I hope to see you back here soon. Oh, do subscribe to the channel, of course, if you like this kind of stuff. Hope to see you back here soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love.